WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 76 points. That's about two tenths of a percent. Half a percent for the S&P or 19 points. About a little over one tenth of a percent for the Nasdaq, 117 points. Half percent for the Russell, nine points, nearly two percent. For the uh, semis, they're up 44 points, trading out of 25.44. You've got gold up 17 bucks, silver up a penny, lights recruit back 373, natural gas up six cents in the 30 treasury, trade out at 127.21, that's up one and a half points. Let's go take a look at what all that means out here as we begin by take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We can see in the upper left hand corner, you got the ES mini just trading with inside a consolidation, also trading with inside the bottom of its daily profile. In order to get to the bottom of the consolidation, pattern we must see two consecutive closes below 38.41 if price is able to close above 38.78 that's going to be a signal that price wants to make a move to the top of its daily profile that level is 39.54 spot volatility continues to um, reject its 50-day exponential moving average that's currently printed at 23.18 you can see two tests over the last two days if price is unable to bust that up it should head lower that should then go ahead and take that es mini up to the 39.54 level if you take a look at the NQ, consolidating with inside its daily profile, also still trading with inside that October 13th swing point. Even as it attempts to try to get outside of that October 13th swing point to the upside, it's got a battle. And that battle is between 11.150 and 11.280. Only a close above 11.280 would suggest some type of change in trend. And when it comes to the U.S. dollar index, the king out there, it's only going to show a change in trend with a close above the top of its daily profile. That level out here is at 1. 0467. If you take a look at Goldilocks, it has a confirmed A to B equals C to the upside. Yesterday, price closing above the top of its weekly profile. That's at 1836.90. Of course, that's going to be important when we get to Friday, not necessarily Tuesday or Wednesday. Nonetheless, price negated a Rhodesman indicator top yesterday. Price should go target 1907. Silver, it has an A to B equal C to the upside. 2506 is its price target, but price running into resistance at its Rhodesman indicator top, which is at 2452. That's the level you're looking for price to close above to continue on its move to the upside. Lights we crude, just trading back to the support area of its daily profile between the 7161 and 7290 level. Price right now trading out at 73. 314. Folks, stay tuned.